Hi guys, I'm Debbie and I'm the founder of Icing Images and I am so excited to be here to share with you all the knowledge that I have in regards to the six different types of edible paper that we offer here at Icing Images. Now, there used to be just like the icing sheet or frosting sheet as well as wafer paper and that's all you had to work with. But with the different types of sheets that we're developing and that are now available, it really can take your decorating skills to a, a level you've never expected before. For example, we have our new cello sheets that are actually clear, like you can see through them. Have you ever thought that we would actually have a see-through, like totally clear type of edible paper? Did you ever think you'd have an edible paper that made lace? Um, it's just there's so many unique things that are available now and I thought it was really important that we go through each different type because they can really help you when you're developing your creations using uh, edible paper. So here we go. I'm first going to start with the, uh, the premium icing sheet by Icing Images. Now Icing Images was the first to offer a premium sheet. Um, there are other companies out there that sell their version of a premium icing sheet and unless it says icing images, it's not going to necessarily have the quality that you learn to expect from icing images. So here we go. Premium icing sheet. Now here's the box that it comes in. Uh, it comes in a 24 pack. Uh, it also now comes in a 12 pack for your convenience. Um, and we do that just in case you want to try something. Um, and it just offers you that flexibility in purchasing. So one thing you're going to find with Icing Images products is that we don't order warehouse full of sheets so that they go bad. We try to keep fresh stock with everything that we offer and you may notice that the same product such as like wafer paper for example uh, that you buy from a company um, on Amazon even though it may come from the same place in the Netherlands, most wafer paper comes from the Netherlands, um, you'll find that ours is actually better because of the freshness that we require. Um, so our premium icing sheets are no different. They have a two year shelf life and um, they're, really, they're really a great icing sheet. So I just printed out um, this picture of my daughter Jackie on a premium icing sheet and I know you guys do cookies so you're not really necessarily going to use a full sheet but I just wanted to show you the quality that's available with these sheets um, so you come to learn what to expect not only with our icing sheets but also our edible inks. Now we formulate our inks to work with the premium icing sheet. And this is important to know because if you use a different icing sheet, it may have a yellowish tint to it. Um, there's just different types of icing sheets or frosting sheets that are out there and they will work differently with different inks. So it's important to understand that if you're not getting crisp, vibrant colors, the reason being is if you're not using our products together, then you may not get that fine detail you're looking for. So here is a blank premium icing sheet and it has the tab across the top. And again, just because it looks like this doesn't mean it's our brand. Um, there are a lot of copycats out there, so just be careful. But we do have the easy peel backing and you're gonna find that we always tell you to keep your scraps. Um, and that's because we actually do lives two times a week. Um, and we do that so that you can see different decorators using our products in different ways. And the lives are actually occur, and write this down, on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Icing Images Facebook page. And then again on Thursday with a different decorator at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as an Instagram takeover. And you will find that in almost every single live that we have, our decorators will say, hey, keep this. You can use it for this um, at a later date. So always keep your scraps, but that also includes the backing. So the backing on the Icing Images Premium Icing Sheet is actually an acetate. It's a food safe acetate that you can pipe on later. Um, people use them for all kinds of things. So always keep these. We've actually spent a whole entire live, actually two of them, talking about what you can do with the backings, with the bags, and then with the scraps of icing sheets. So this backing, it's a great backing. It handle, handles high heat as well, which is important to know. But you saw the easy peel backing. It doesn't just fall off itself and it doesn't crack or chip unless it becomes really cold 
and you use it when it's really cold. Um, you always just really want to allow your icing sheets to come to room temperature um, if they were just shipped to you before you use them. But you saw how I folded that pretty easy. It's not fold, call, falling off the back. It's not crick, cracking or chipping. It's a great icing sheet. So we have the easy peel backing um, and you can hear that sound. It's very distinct, um, which we like. They don't fall off prematurely, which is important because you know somebody inevitably is going to leave your bag open and some icing sheets will crack and chip or um, fall off the backing. Ours do not. Um, they have a great vanilla flavor to them if you've ever eaten one. They run edge to edge, which is wonderful. Um, and um, it's just a really great icing sheet. So it does, it's rather durable when you print on them. Um, but um, I mean, it's not gonna be like our smart sheets, for example, which can really be crinkled up. Um, without any trouble. So that is our premium icing sheets. Icing sheets are generally used to lay flat on a cookie. Um, they can be draped because you saw how it had some uh, flexibility to it. Um, and actually you can even take the scraps. Remember I say save your scraps and you can uh, mix them with hot water and actually pipe with them. Yep, you can do that with our sheets, which is pretty amazing. They're actually one of the few frosting sheets or icing sheets that are out there that um, can actually withstand the heat of isomol. And um, because of the white backing to it, it actually will give you that crisp, clear image that you're looking through for with the uh, icing sheets. Um, so um, icing sheets, icing images brand all the way, great sheet. I think you're gonna love them. All right, so that's the icing sheet, AKA frosting sheet, AKA sugar sheet. There's lots of names out there, but the commonality with all these different names is that the uh, icing sheet has a sugar base to it, um, and it's mainly used for laying flat on cookies, cakes, etc. All right, so icing images also has wafer paper, and wafer paper goes way, 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 way back. Um, it's one of the first edible papers that were out there, um, and it's probably the most well-known. It is a potato-based paper, um, and it, Pretty much, I would say 99.9% .9 of the wafer paper all comes from the Netherlands. So whether you're buying it from our company or another company, chances are it's made in the Netherlands. And hey, just face it, that's where potatoes are. So it makes sense that that's where wafer paper comes from. Now, the difference between icing images, wafer paper, and others, again, we carry the premium name, but others kind of copied that as well. We try not to overstock any product so that it does not sit on our shelves wasting time during the expiration date process. And that's important because many people will use our wafer paper and another company's wafer paper. Both were manufactured in the Netherlands, but they like our wafer paper better. And it's kind of odd for people to understand why. And it was, it kind of fooled us for a little while, but then we realized it's because of the freshness of our paper we keep it in stock for shorter periods of time so that it doesn't dry out, it handles better. Um, and even our white wafer paper, it actually has a vanilla flavor to it, which people love because it doesn't taste like paper. Our wafer paper is packaged in several different ways. First of all, we have our standard wafer paper, which is A, D, very similar to O, by the way. A lot of people are, hey, I wanna get O or I wanna get A, D, what's the difference? Not much, like if you hold both both types, you're not gonna notice the difference. It One is just a little thinner than the other, but it's not severely different where you can tell the difference. So we carry an AD because we find it to be universally used where people want that thin wafer paper. They come in packs of 25 and also 100. And remember, these are vanilla flavored. Um, in addition, the AD can also be found in pink color as well. What's neat about the pink is that we have that uh, smooth side that you find on wafer, but also it has a diamond pattern on the other side, which people love. So here, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. You can see that it's translucent. You can see through it. And that's why wafer paper is not designed to lay flat on a cake or cookie. It's actually designed to create uh, flowers and butterflies, things that stand off of a cake. Um, and that's really very important to understand because when you lay it on a cake, if there's a picture on this, you're gonna see any imperfections in the icing below it because you can see right through it. 
Um, so that's why we don't recommend that you ever lay wafer flat on something. Again, printable, um, it can be airbrushed, but very carefully. Um, but, uh, and, and you can actually print on both sides. For example, let me show you this. So I actually took an eye design um, and I printed it on both sides of the wafer paper, which is kind of nice so that when you're, um, when you're creating a flower or a butterfly, both sides of the paper are actually printed on so you don't see that white side. Chef Irenia from Florida Bakers Club actually came out with a way to create edible gold leaf out of wafer. Yeah, you heard me right. I mean, can you imagine the savings um, with edible gold leaf, truly edible gold leaf, not stuff that's food safe, truly edible gold leaf, and you can make it on demand at a fraction, a huge fraction of the cost. And actually, if you go on our website under the wafer paper, you will find a link to that tutorial. Um, it's beautiful, it's easy to make, and um, it passes for edible gold leaf. Like people, when they saw it in person, they thought it was actually gold leaf. I'm like, no, look at all the, all the gold leaf I used in this, this decoration. It is not uh, real edible gold leaf, but it passes. Customers are happy, you're happy because you can make it on demand. So that's wafer paper in a nutshell. Our next sheet I wanna to talk to you about is the Icing Images Smart Sheets. Now, um, smart sheets have been around about two years. And actually when I found these sheets, I was in Vegas and I didn't know what to do with them um, because they're really kind of different. Let me show you one. So this is our smart sheet. And our smart sheet, uh, when, I, when I saw it for the first time, it kind of had a cardboardy, like listen to that. It had a cardboardy sound and I'm like, what in the world are we gonna do with it? It's edible, but doesn't have a use. So when I was in Vegas and I found them, I left them out there. I left it out the whole time we're in Vegas in that high, dry heat. And then I came back to Winchester, Virginia, where we're based, and I left it out there for four seasons. I mean, it was it went through summer, winter, the, the humidity, the dryness, the whole thing, and they didn't really change, which is kind of unusual, because wafer paper, if you leave it out, or even icing sheets, if you leave them out that long, you're gonna see some changes in them. But this piece didn't change. And I had a call from somebody that says, I want to make an edible paint your own palette, meaning the, uh, the paper behind it, you can actually eat. So I'm like, you know what? Let me check. I actually do have a paper. Let's see how this is going to work. So we took it out. We created a PYO palette. We dipped the paintbrush in water and then onto the uh, smart sheet. And it really didn't affect it much. And it worked. It transferred the color. And so we created uh, P edible PYO palettes, and this is what came from it. You can find these palettes on our website under our iDesign pattern page, um, and that's a program that we offer with over 2,000 different images, all licensed for edible use. It's a really cool program. I suggest you check it out. Um, and when you print your own PYO palettes, they actually work, but they they paint like very um, pastel -y colors. And so then when you try them with gel colors and you put uh, the dots of ink on actually the gel color. If you put the dots of gel color on the P on the rough side of the PYO palette, when you paint with them, they come out very vibrant. It's really unique. Um, we only suggest that you use the artisan accents uh, gels with them because they actually dry. We have them on our website. Here's the link for you, and um, you can actually use them as a a, a, a truly edible PYO palette which is really kind of cool when the, when the kids can eat it and have their little rainbow mouth. But we then found out it does other things. So smart sheets actually are kind of the love child between an icing sheet, uh, wafer paper, and even flex frost. Um, so as, an, as a comparable po product to uh, icing sheet, you can print on them just like all our other edible papers. But this is what we noticed, and this is more kind of a recent fine for us. When you print on a smart sheet, it actually gives you a higher resolution image. And that's because the smart sheet has a smooth side and a textured side. Let me compare side by side these different images that were paint that were printed directly on the smart sheet as well as the icing sheet. Now smart sheets are sugar free and they have no flavor to them at all. 
and we're finding our, our customer base really likes putting them on cookies and cakes now. A lot of people are switching to them because of that, um, that high res image and because of the way that they hold up in all four seasons. Um, now, because I said it has a textured side and a smooth side, when you print a textured pattern on this side, it really defines that texture um, and it's pretty unique. Remember that I said that smart sheets are also kind of like flex frost? Well, they are. Let me show you this. All right, so I took my smart sheet and I sprayed it heavily with paper potion. And what happens when I do that, I, I allow it to sit and kind of melt in. It becomes very, very flexible like a fabric. So you saw it transition from this, which is kind of stiff. Look, it stands up on its own into this. So it's like an edible fabric, which is very unique. It becomes very soft and supple. Um, it's beautiful and it handles well for draping, um, creating ruffles and bows, things like that. So it's pretty cool. Now, remember I also said that it was like wafer paper. All right, so here's a piece of wafer paper. It's very thin, right? But what happens when you take this wafer paper and you put it in the freezer or the refrigerator? It can melt. It actually does not like water, does not like humidity, um, but, um, and it can crack, see that? but it's thin, it's meant to use for fine, delicate pieces of artwork. The smart sheet, however, can be manhandled pretty well, but you can actually use it to create flowers and butterflies and things that stand off the cake, as well as, lay, as, well as laying it on the cake as well. So it's pretty durable, but it's fine with water. So you can put it in and out of the refrigerator, freezer, it doesn't matter, it can handle the humidity, um, and it won't melt on you. It may become softer, but it won't melt. So just to review, smart sheets can be fabric-like. They can create beautiful printed images on the smooth side, or you can create an image on the textured side as well. And they can go in and out of the refrigerator, freezer, handle water much better, but still be manipulated very similarly to a uh, wafer paper. All right, so let's talk flex frost. Now, flex frost has been around for a while, and a lot of people know about it, and they love it. Um, flex frost it comes in sheets, and it can be printed on, just like all our other paper. Same thing; it can be uh, airbrushed and all that, uh, all all of that. Um, but what flex frost is actually known for is the fact that it can create an edible lace. Now, our flex frost comes in ten and twenty packs but it also comes in a large variety of colors. It comes in the white, of course, and you can color this any way you want it, or you can add luster. Um, it also comes in gold and silver and rose gold and uh, pearl, and it comes in black and red and copper and green as well. And some are shimmers and some are not but they all can be made into an edible lace. All right, so it's really, really simple. That's all you wanna do is rip a piece of the sheet off and you just rip it in small enough pieces so it fits in that bowl of water. Just get it good and wet, and lay it right on the mat. And you just really want to cover that whole area. That way you know you have enough of the lace products. Now the amount can vary based on the depth of the mats used. So you'll see it kind of just starts to melt in. You want to wait just a little bit longer. It takes about 30 seconds or so. Now it's ready. And I'm going to go ahead and start scraping it in. You kind of want to go in all directions, uh, making sure all the grooves are filled in completely. If you have any areas that are not filled in and there's a gap, then you will have a gap in your design and um, it won't be a continuous design. So just keep scraping, just keep scraping, just keep scraping, get all the excess off. You just, uh, if you have a skim over the top, then you're gonna, ha you're gonna see that. I mean, what you see is pretty much what you get with the Flex Frost Lace. 
So I'm just getting all the areas. Look carefully. There's just that little area that wants to be a little stubborn. So I'm kind of pressing and scraping at the same time. And then I scrape off the uh, residual. And what's nice about Flex Frost is all that extra uh, lace that you don't use, you can take the backing from the Flex Frost and just kind of smear it right on. And then you'll let that dry along with the uh, lace as well. And um, you can reuse that later, which is wonderful. So it's all ready. And I'm taking that extra lace there and I'm gonna put that in a bag. Just make sure it's perfectly dry. I can actually use those later. Now I'm gonna go pull these out. They're actually falling out right now. I let them dry a little too long. If you're trying to pull them out and it gets stuck, it just means they're not dry yet. So that's Flex Frost. That's what it's most known for. Um, it's a great product and we offer all of that here at Icing Images. What's nice is when you buy Flex Frost from Icing Images, there's actually a coupon on every package. So there you have it, that's Flex Frost. All right, so let's talk about semi-transfer sheets next. Now, semi-transfer sheets were developed when I was offered this unique kind of uh, edible paper. And it wasn't really a chocolate transfer, although that's what they were calling it, but it wasn't really a chocolate transfer sheet. Chocolate transfer sheets actually have cocoa butter in them, and they're not something that is sold where you can really print on them because you need to be able to print white. And well, let's face it, have you ever printed white? It, you can't do it because our printers are not made like that. Um, now, cocoa butter printers are, we don't offer those because they're very specific. So when I was handed this sheet, I messed around with it a little bit, but wasn't really sure what to do with it. Um, Sydney Galpern of Simi Cakes, you know, we work a lot with them. Um, and I, of course, gave her the sheet. And what would Sydney do if you give her something to work with? Well, she poured ice mold on it. And lo and behold, the Simi transfer sheet was invented. She was the one who figured out the best uses for it. It works with chocolate. It works with ice mold but it's a semi-translucent sheet. So you can kind of see through it, but you kind of can't. So when you print on it, you can see, and this is what we actually used as clear, but when you look at it, when it's printed, this area here um, looks to be white because there's that coating on it, um, but um, it comes through as a off, as a semi-translucent sheet. In this picture, we took a three different types of edible paper and printed an eye design out on them. We then poured isomalt over top. So you can see the way the light reflects or bounces off each different type of edible paper. So the first one is the clear cello sheet and you can see right through that to the mat below. It's pretty much clear. The semi-transfer sheet is the second example. And if you look at that closely, you can actually see the mat below kind of, it's semi-translucent. Um, so it's kind of that halfway point. And then the premium icing sheet, which is all the way to the right, that was had the eye design printed on it as well. And it gives you that crisp, clear backing on it. Um, so there's no uh, light or anything showing through. Another unique feature about the semi transfer sheets is the fact that you can print on them and then pipe meringue directly on them and bake right on the sheet. This brings us to the cello sheet. So a cello sheet is actually a very new product that we offer. We actually decided to offer it in beta stage. So what does that mean? It basically means that we found this amazing edible paper and we were thrilled with everything that it does. I sent it out to all the decorators for testing. They were going nuts over this. And we found all these different ways it can be used. And we were just like, this is really a great product. And I know we're gonna carry it, um, but we have not seen it go through all four seasons. Um, we did send it to Florida and Texas and, well, pretty much all over the country to be tested in different areas and everybody loved it. Um, so we haven't figured out all the uses yet, but we wanted to offer it to you as soon as possible. So we launched it just at actually Reno Cookie Con. And when we did this, um, it, people loved it. People absolutely were amazed by it and you will be too. So a cello sheet is, cello basically means plastic. 
a thin layer of plastic, but um, it's an edible plastic. Not like uh, when you know you think cello cellophane, and if you eat that, it's gonna be really difficult to chew, but this is a little different. So let me show you this. Cello sheets, and let me go ahead and show you the box. This is the packaging that it comes in. Um, they come in clear. You can buy 12 clear, 12 white, or six white and six clear, so you can play with both of them. You're gonna fall in love with the clear really fast. Like, it's so easy to fall in love with that. But the white is actually pretty amazing too. So don't overlook that. That's why we sell them in a six and six pack. So here is the clear cello sheet. It has a backing on it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the lens of the camera with this, so hold tight. You can't tell. You can't tell that it's there, can you? Except when you saw me move up to it. Now this clear sheet can be printed on. Um, and the, I guess the biggest downfall of the sheet is that it is on a backing. Um, and I can't tell the difference between the front and the back. Which one's the backing? No idea. So some people cut it. I kind of flick it a little bit to get that corner to break. Um, some people add just a little bit of water to the corner. It is a little bit, um, bigger than uh, A4 sheets. There's some area on the bottom that's not used, but if I take a dab of water on my finger and I wet the edge, I can feel the tackiness of, and I know that this side right here, that's the side I want to be printed on. We also find that it likes to curl, um, not for everybody. Um, here in Virginia, we have all four seasons. It's cold and dry right now. And so you can see it wants to curl. When you go to print on it, if it's, you're living in a drier area, you want to make sure that you put it into the printer right before it prints on it and make sure it goes through. But it works. It works great. Um, and it creates beautiful designs like this. Here is a piece of the cello sheet that actually has been printed on, um, and you can see right through it. It's pretty cool. Now let me show you the white. So this is a white cello sheet uh, that's been printed on as well, and you can see that white edge, but you can't see through it as much. It's kind of translucent, but not really. So let me go ahead and show you some examples of the clear used and the white used so you can see through it. What do you use a cello sheet for if you're not using isomalt? Well, isomalt's like a no-brainer uh, to pour cello to pour on cello sheets, but you can also use it for chocolate. You can actually put them right on a drink, hot or cold. You can put it on royal icing, fondant, and buttercream. It actually works on all of them. Let me show you uh, an example of the cello sheet that I actually, what I did is I took wafer paper and made edible gold leaf out of it. I laid it over top of the fondant and then I went ahead and printed a cello sheet with an eye design on it and I laid that right over top of that edible gold leaf. It gave a really unique finish. What I like about this is that it looks like isobol, like it looks clear and it has so much dimension to it, but you can actually cut or bite right through it. Another great feature of the cello sheets are that it makes edible lace, either white or clear, and it's really easy to do. Simply find the right side of the cello sheet that's actually the cello and not the backing, just a little bit of water will do. And once you determine that, you go ahead and just cut the size of cello sheet that you need to cover the area on the mat um, that you plan to use. Now, these mats are actually available on the Icing Images website as well. Once you have that, you wanna take it and uh, dip it into water, and you wanna get a good amount of water on there because the water is what's gonna actually moisten the lace material. Um, lay it right over top and let it sit for about five minutes. Now, it's a good idea to check on it to see if there's enough water on it um, just simply lift up, and if it doesn't look like it's coming off of there well, you just want to go ahead and re-dip it to uh, 
give yourself just a little more moisture. So you just re-dip it just like that, lay it back on and wait a few more minutes and then check it one more time. If it looks good and it looks really tacky, just like that, then you wanna go ahead and grab a scraper and just scrape the material right off the backing and then onto the lace mat, just like that. Now, another issue with these cello sheets is that they are clear and it's hard sometimes to see where the actual lace material is and isn't. You get the hang of it and basically you gotta use different angles of light to see what's filled and what's not. Uh, just like the flex frost, you wanna make sure all the grooves are filled very well. So take your time, go back and forth um, several times, making sure every single groove is filled. Otherwise you're gonna have a gap and there'll be no material there. So scrape it in really, really well. Make sure you get all that material right off that backing. Just like that, very simple to do. And then when you're done, you wanna scrape any excess material off of the flower. Otherwise, you're gonna have um, like this haze of material over top. Now there always is enough material when you cut it to the shape or the size that you want, um, but that's assuming you're using a, uh, a mat that is not too deep. If it's deeper, then you're gonna to have to use more of that cello material. So do that final scraping, and then it's ready to set. Um, and you can do it at dry room temperature, or you can put it in the oven with a light on, but just watch it to make sure that it doesn't dry too much and crack. Um, Get, you can pull any excess material off, and it's really simple to do. You know it's ready when it releases very easily. If it doesn't, you need to wait just a little longer to let it dry. I like to add just a little bit of edible luster to make it sparkle. So I invite you to try the cello sheet. I think you guys are going to fall in love with it. Um, it is very unique. It's hard for us to keep it in stock, but remember it is a beta product. We are testing it. Um, so we invite you to test it along with us and see what you create with it. So I want to thank you all for joining me. Uh, I hope this was educational for you. I feel like so many people really don't understand all the types of edible paper that are, are out there and how they're used and how one can kind of work like another one, but not exactly, and where you would use each different kinds. So all of our edible paper, it can be, it can be printed on all of them, some front and back if there's no, um, if there's no backing to it, which is really great. Um, the cello sheet and the flex floss both make edible lace. They're very different edible lace, um, but they both make the edible lace, which is kind of neat. Um, smart sheets kind of go where most papers don't. It could, can be used like as an icing sheet, as a wafer paper, but it also can be used like a um, like a uh, edible fabric, um, which is really cool. Uh, we invite you to try all of our papers um, and find out which one is best for you, or which two or three. Um, it just kind of depends where your specialties are. So thank you again for joining us. I really appreciate your time. Please join us for our lives uh, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, and on Thursdays on Instagram, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Come and join us. If you miss them, they are available on each of their social media platforms. Um, different decorators all the time. There's new ideas launched. You're going to find something new that you've never known. Um, so definitely come out and join us. Also know that our edible papers, uh, all except for the semi-transfer sheet, can be printed on as well as put through our electronic cutter. And Icing Images offers you both types of technology. Um, both, both are food safe um, and we actually offer them at great prices because we really want you to be able to use these products to the best of their ability and also really what's important to us is that we help you create things better for your customers. We help you design things that you never thought you could um, and that you do it in a way that makes sense for your business. These machines, when you put them together, will save you so much time and money um, and you'll never have to hand cut anything again. I invite you to try them both. 
Um, and if you have any questions, know that you can find us in many different ways. Of course, you can call us Monday through fi Friday, uh, 9 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. We're available for chat too if you can't talk for whatever reason. Um, and then also, please join our Everything Icing Images page. Um, it is a group of decorators that are always willing to help and share. Um, they, they answer questions faster than we can, which is wonderful because there's so much knowledge there and they are so helpful. Um, so definitely join that group. You can always find us uh, on Instagram or Facebook and message us there uh, after hours. We try to help as, as much as we can, but our Everything Icing uh, Images Facebook page is amazing if you have any questions, so we invite you to join. Thanks so much. Happy decorating. Take care, guys.